So, what was what was going on in class today? What was the plan for the class today? It's supposed to be. They had a uh, a written assignment. Okay. It was a fourteen question worksheet on the National Electrical Code. Was is that all they were going to do today? Um, yeah, I mean, that was supposed to take up the entire class. Okay. Some people finished up early, mm -hmm. a few minutes early, and went back to the working on their lab projects. Okay. And okay. those, I was there, all of those, uh, what do you call them? I guess uh, booths. Yep. Different colored booths. Right. That's where they do their lab projects. Yep. Okay. Uh, how many kids were in the class today? Mm, we had 17 at the beginning of class. Okay. And then some of the uh, sending school students had left. All right, and those are kids that go to like Rochester or right. other districts and they, come they, in they just leave for 10:30. They come in just for the electrical program. The electrical program. Yeah. Okay. So the the kid that gets hurt is Kyle Dubois. What is he doing during the class? Uh, he worked on his worksheet. Mm -hmm. you know, he was still working on it at, at 10.30. So remember everyone was still working on the worksheets at 10.30. Right. But he must have finished up just shortly after that. Okay. And there was you know, probably five students that went out back and start working on their, you know, finishing up some of their wiring. Right. Okay. You know. um, and we'll see one of the students that want to yeah. work out there. Um, so, what happens? How does he get injured? I was working with a, you know, a few students in the back on uh, finishing up their written assignments. Um, I remember seeing him playing with the extent, you know, the test cord, yeah. the alligator clips, yeah. clipping them to himself. Okay. The one thing I remember him saying is, what will you give me if I clip these to my nipple? Mm -hmm. You know, I have nothing. Give me a Mountain Dew, Kelly. I, I don't have no Mountain Dew. It's yeah. Yeah. You know, he said, he has all the Mountain Dews. <laughs> Always has Mountain Dew. And uh, I remember seeing <laughs> pick up the cord, you know, and he just picked it up and had a grin on his face. Right. I said, knock it off, you know. Right. Then he put the cord down, you yeah. know. And I went back to, you know, working with the other kids. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, it was all of a sudden it was like, you know, I, you know, they were finished up a few problems. I was talking about my fantasy baseball team with one student, and the next thing I know, there was a commotion. I hear, you know, a ouch, and I look, and there's. Where are you in relation to all of this? I'm at the back of the classroom with a desk. I'm so, what happens next? You talk about fantasy baseball. What happens next? I heard a commotion. Okay. You know. Um, what is the commotion? I know. It's like, oh, ow. Okay. I look up. You know, there's a couple other people in the back area now. Kyle takes a few steps back. Yeah. Slowly goes down. Is he still connected to the... No. No. All right. Um, I never saw anyone plug the cord in, you know? Did you see anybody unplug the cord? No. Okay. He goes down. How, how does he go down? Slowly. Sort of went down and curled up into a ball. Okay. You know, it, it wasn't a fall, you know, it was just he went down on his own power. Okay. And who's right there at the time? I was focusing on him. Okay. He was like, he was curled up in the fetal position. Mm -hmm. I rolled him over. Yeah. I noticed his eyes would roll back in his head. Yeah. Um, could tell pretty quickly, but I didn't even, I didn't waste any time, yeah. you know didn't appear to me he was breathing at all and I just started CPR I didn't I just started okay. um, 
Did you tell anybody to go get the nurse or anything? I yelled out someone get the nurse. I didn't know who went to get the nurse. Okay. Right. There was one other person down with me helping me. Who was that? And I thought it was Eric Latimer. Mm -hmm. He was there, you know, when some of the emergency people got there right. helping me. How long went by, do you think, before the time, between the time he went down and you starting CPR? It was seconds. Okay. And yeah, how long were you doing CPR before the nurse arrived? It seemed like an eternity to me. Right. I can't do right. Okay. Um, I mean, we got a response out of him. Right. You know, started breathing, coughed up, okay. bunch of crap. So he... Um, Let's, getting back today, we interviewed uh, all of the kids in the class, um, and, and there's been some, some things told to us. Uh, one of them was that prior to doing this, he actually tested it on himself uh, with it plugged in. Um, were you aware of that at all? I didn't see that at all. Okay. Uh, the other thing told to us by a couple of the kids was he, that he said to you, Kelly, what will you give me? I do this, and, and that you he, he did say that, yeah. yeah. And that you responded, uh, if you keep him there for 10 seconds, I'm out and do it. No, okay. Why would the kids tell us that? I don't know. Okay. No, I, I said, I said nothing. I said, I don't have any mountain dues, you know. Right. Did you say anything about keeping him on for 10 seconds? No. Or uh, it was also told to us that he used the ground, the clamp on the ground, and you said, no, not the green one, the white one. No, he was stepping on it. I said, you're tearing the green wire apart. He was stepping on the... Yeah, someone was stepping... Well, the, 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 he was stepping on the green wire. On the alligator clamp? Right. Okay. And he was pulling on the cord. Yeah. When was that happening? I, 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 he was carrying the cord around. The cord... No one had the live end of the cord. Right. He yep. was carrying it around. Okay. When was that during what you told me? I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm trying to bust your chops. I'm just trying to make it make sense in my head. So, when did that happen, chronologically, with everything else that happened? Right around the time when he said, "What will you give me?" You know. Okay. So. And I said nothing. Right. He goes, "Give me a Mountain Dew, Kelly." I said, "I don't have a Mountain Dew." Right. No. So he's carrying around the cord or dragging the cord around. All right. And he's stepping on. Well, well he, he's trying to pick the cord up, and he's stepping on the alligator cords. Okay. And what do you say to him? He, he's ripping the green one apart. Okay. Um, but you don't say, no, you need to use the white one? No. Okay, so if somebody heard you say that, is there a reason why you would say that? The, the white one or something like that? I mean, I'm just thinking, was there another context that you would use that? I don't know. It was also told to us that in the past you've actually said to kids, yeah, I'll give you a Mountain Dew, that you actually hold the Mountain Dews for kids. Um, I don't. Because I hold them for He brings them in the morning, puts them in my office. Right. Yeah. Um, and that in the past you've, you've, if kids will do like deer stuff, you'll give them a Mountain no, Dew. I've never done anything like that. Nothing like that? Nope. Okay. So the kids are lying if they're telling us that. Yeah, I've never done anything like that. So, if there is a video of this, you're certain that that everything you told me is what we should see on the video. Okay. okay. All right. I never promised anyone a Mountain Dew. All right. You know, and I would never promise anyone to plug a cord in and electrocute themselves. In any way? Did you, you know? Did you put the kid up to it? Not at all.